Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Causal AI conference here in beautiful San Francisco. In terms of how you communicate these insights, you need to be able to talk at audience at different levels. Your data scientists need to be trained to not just go deep in the technical details, but also be able to zoom out and talk to your non-technical stakeholders in a way that is more business focused, where they can understand the intuition behind the methods, but more importantly, the implications of these insights. When we think of A-B testing, we have to think of how the industry is going to adopt causal technologies because that's absolutely important for good decision making. When we overcame our learning curve, it helped by the causal lens team, we were able to do this analysis in record time. We took less than a week and a half after we understood how the codes were working and everything like that. So that is record time for uh, any kind of analysis that's, uh, that's done. This illustrates is that in many settings, the standard setup where we think of units as being completely separate, where we don't worry about interference, is often not justified. There's many settings where interference, where spillovers, where interactions between units are of the essence and where they're intrinsic to the problem. We do basically A-B testing and run our turbines through different options and notice when does it get more power and put that into a circuit model. And now, because it was trained on a randomized trial, that's essentially a causal model. Now we can prescribe these operational parameters for the turbine and get an extra percent of energy, essentially for free, through causal AI. One is showing how causality can improve large language models and make them better at reasoning, explainability, fairness, and so on. And the other is about how can we use large language models to improve the way in which we develop causal AI. This conference brings together so many experts from various verticals, data scientists, causal practitioners, planners, heads of analytics teams, and see all the applications of causal AI. So it's a great opportunity to have both scientists as well as business leaders coming together in, this, uh, in, in, in the causal AI world. Causal reasoning it is a necessary component which has a science backing. So it should be a role model to other facets of where we don't have this yes. scientific backbone. When we look back and we tell our grandchildren's stories about AI, we can hopefully sit there and be like, yeah, we are the people that empowered AI with causal reasoning. And therefore, we had this major contribution towards creating AI we can trust.